Eric Keller here with Enthusiast Auto Group. I wanted to take the opportunity and share a E30 M3 Sport Evolution with all of our fellow enthusiasts. This is an 80,000 mile example that we've recently sold to a client in Toronto, Canada. This car was sourced from the third owner out of Sweden. He is a huge and long time E30 M3 fan. Uh, he'd been keeping a registry since I believe about 2000 of all of the sport evolutions that came to market since uh, that time and notes on condition, history, pedigree, uh, provenance, etc. During his search for the best one he could find, he was kind enough to share that with us and certainly has become very helpful in identifying the sport evos that we want to invest in and put our name and brand on. I've been driving this car, doing all of our final rounds of quality control and ensuring that it is tuning fork uh, correct to the EAG standard. It's leaving here soon with several other cars that this client has purchased. It's one of the better examples for the mileage that we've ever seen, uh, really high up there, uh, certainly a nine plus on any hardcore enthusiast 10 scale. The car's all stock, it's not modified in any way. The undercarriage is spotless, never previously had any rust issues or concerns, which is a big deal with all the cars of this era. It has a really, really great interior that again, is all original. The Sport Evos had dogleg transmissions like all the European spec cars, uh, E30 M3s that is different steering wheel, different shift knob, different e-brake handle. These were Caro Speed seats with the Anthracite M uh, interior. Red seat belts, which are a nice, nice touch. All the different options uh, as far as sound systems, sunroof or lack thereof, radio or lack thereof. All of those were available as um, options. The headlight adjusters, I think, were a standardized item. Some of them had the wash wipe wipers um, on the headlamps. That's kind of a cool, novel option. Uh, and unlike uh, the U.S. cars that have the VIN right there in the door jam that just has some capacities and luggage uh, type things, the um, VIN numbers on the Euro cars are one of two places. They're either A, stamped on the firewall, as uh, this one is right there. And uh, instead of the number plates, um, you can identify the Sport Evos by VIN. You're looking at the last uh, three there, 156. Yeah, so this is the 156th car built. And uh, you also notice that it's a WBA VIN number, not a WBS. The WBAs were the earliest of the Sport Evos. BMW did catch a few of them and actually uh, marked through the VIN. They, they actually did like a ch -ch X and then they'd restamp it right there uh, on the corrected ones. This one was not caught nor corrected. Uh, so it is it's still original WBA, just a E30 M3 Sport Evo fun fact. Uh, the blue uh, throttle body caps right there will note that they've been taken off and replaced at some point, typically for a, an adjustment. The yellow caps would be the originals. Uh, you'll notice the original tanks on the coolant and the, the water. A lot of guys like to change those just to make them look super fresh like that valve cover. Uh, if they're not leaking, we typically tend to leave them as they are only original once, but uh, 100 bucks can change that if somebody's preferring uh, it to look factory production 1990 under here. Uh, the rest of the car almost does. <laughs> uh, certainly appreciate everyone tuning in and, and the support over the years. Uh, these cars are really what we've been dreaming of for many, many years and being able to have so many different sport evos over the last few years now that they're 25 years of age. Uh, there's another Sport Evo right over there. Johnny Chicago, Evo 2. Some of the U.S. cars in our collection uh, and our, our Sport Evo back there. Uh, certainly living the dream with these cars every day and, and driving them and enjoying them and sharing them, meeting a lot of really great enthusiasts all over the world. If you have any questions at any point ever, uh, reach out to us, drop us a call, send us an email. 
we'd love to, to get to know you. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Lots of cool content coming out here over the holiday season. Lots more stuff in store. We've got some exciting news to announce here in coming weeks on some very special cars that uh, the market has not seen or heard of. Uh, stay tuned.